So there's this company called Heritage Audio, and they've actually made some pretty cool gear over the past few years. But their newest thing is something called the Grandchild 670 500. And I'm just here to call BS. I'm sorry, but to to try to, you know, put a essentially lipstick on a pig, meaning, you know, the, the 500 series, look, it, it's great. Don't get me wrong. 500 series gear, cool stuff. But to just make a play on an old piece of gear, Look, I probably wouldn't even be making this video if not for the fact that this thing was $2,000. And I'm just going to point everybody to a website called MixAnalog.com where they actually have a Fairchild 670 clone in their rack. You can also get a Manly Verimoo, which is in the Access Analog rack, which is similar to a Fairchild. Not the same thing, obviously, but... You know, lots of tubes, compression, you, you get it. Look, it looks nice, but it's not, it's, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is not $2,000 nice. Because the whole point of the Fairchild is that it has tons of tubes, big tubes. So... You know, Heritage Audio, I commend you all. In, in, in fact, I'm going to say that I will one day hopefully have one of your uh, Neve clones. I like the, the one that you had, the, the 1081. If I can find that, I'll find it. Um, not that one. I don't see it. Uh -oh. No, I don't see it on here. Anyway, it is the. It, it combines a Neve 1073 preamp clone with a Neve 1081 equalizer. I don't know if that's this one or not. Nope. Elite series. Oh, there it is. There it is. So, yeah, one day I hope to be a customer of this. But I honestly have to say that it's it's pretty disgusting for you guys to, you know, use the... Not use, but invoke the Fairchild 660-670 name. And th th there's just no way, no way you got the sound of an actual Fairchild compressor squeezed into a 500 series rack. There's just no way. Now this I believe. This I believe because physically it's very possible. But let's go back to that fair, that, uh, that grandchild... Yeah. Again, it looks great. It looks great. But how does it sound? How it sounds is the most important thing. Let's see what they're... Uh, after having shocked and impressed the audio industry with the Her Child Model 670 and Model 660, Heritage Audio has now turned to the 500 series format to offer something extremely rare. An analog stereo variable mu tube compressor in a two space 500 series module okay to capture that elusive sound what elusive sound are you talking about so here we go okay it's a stereo it is a stereo compressor. That's good. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, I not to continue to beat a dead horse here, but, 
you know, <laughs> I, I'm I'm sorry, but I just I just don't think it's uh. I'm waiting for the reviews. That's all I can say. I'm re waiting for the reviews. I'm waiting for the comparison videos. Not ones where people are sent the grandchild for free. Believe me, it, I can tell you what, guys. If I had the budget, I would buy this and compare it to a real one. And I will eat my words if I'm wrong about this. But come on, man. Come on. Do not fall for it. Just because it looks a certain way, you know, never judge a book by its cover, as they say. So, well, I, I will I will say this. At least there's holes in the side. I mean, there are, assuming there's real tubes in there, it's going to need it, right? But, um, okay. No way. They're trying to say they have different time constants in there. No. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, what do you guys think? Does the grandchild have any right to have that faceplate when there's there's just no way, right? There's no way. No way. 